Since the start of this December, I've been putting together some guides for you guys as well as building PCs. And at the moment, when I look at the new PC parts, especially at CPUs, I see no other choice but to buy AMD Ryzen. And this got me scratching my head thinking, where is Intel's offerings to compete against AMD even before Christmas? And we're not even gonna talk initially about the Ryzen 3000 series until later in the video. We're gonna talk about right now because there is no i5-8400 at a reasonable price. Over a year ago, I bought this CPU for 187 US dollars shipped. And at these prices, it represented what I thought was the best value for money from Intel. You had six cores, six threads, you had that IPC, you had the power consumption being pretty low, and you even had an included cooler, and then you could put that on a budget motherboard like a H310 and get some really good value for money. However, skip forward to the end of this year, we now have no i5-9400 released. We don't even know when Intel or if Intel wants to release this CPU. And uh, furthermore, to compound the problem for Intel, Ryzen 5 2600, that's their six core 12 threaded overclockable CPU with an included cooler is currently being had for 170 US. And if you're in Australia, it's 208 Aussie dollars. So let's talk about the dominance that is AMD in 2018 and what looks like it's gonna be 2019 too. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today from the hot AF Vietnam Ho Chi Minh City. We've also got a parts hunt dropping as well. And I gotta go out in a few hours, but before then, got some spare time to record this video. And what we're looking at in the market currently with AMD versus Intel is complete dominance where reportedly in Germany from mindfactory.de, uh, AMD outsold Intel in November, two CPUs to one. And you can see in those graphs that the Ryzen 5 2600, uh, more specifically, is taking up a huge chunk of those sales, which is great to see AMD not only being back in the game, but actually outperforming the competitor. If you asked, I guess, anyone in the tech scene in 2014, if this scenario today was likely possible, everyone just would have said, no way, uh, back uh, before they announced Ryzen, everyone thought AMD was done. And what we're seeing now in the market is a scenario where AMD is putting their foot on the pedal and going full speed ahead. And uh, Intel on the other hand, seem like they're backing off. And when we look at the data, it looks like Intel in ways, uh, maybe they've got those uh, 10 nanometer problems, which we know about, but also the 14 nanometer production is limited where they had to at least uh, revert back to 22 nanometer in some of their production assemblies. But I guess to further add fuel, or I guess rub sand in the wound from AMD to Intel, is that in 2019, the leaks for the Ryzen 3000 series are in the wild now, where we're looking at 16 cores and 32 threads in the $400 price bracket. Not to mention, they are making the main die in those chips seven nanometers. So we will see higher clock speeds, reportedly to go as far as five gigahertz, and in some cases higher on a single core turbo boost, but also better power efficiency too. So these chips will run cooler. And looking through some of the rumored SKUs, I do have my doubts. And uh, this is coming from both Adored TV, who says he has an inside source, as well as Reddit. And the main flagship looks like it will be a 3850X coming in with 16 cores and 32 threads. And I do in ways a little bit doubt this, that AMD would go mainstream with 16 cores, 32 threads. Uh, for starters, it would kind of alienate their 2950X almost immediately and uh, maybe make users who bought that platform feel a little bit left out. Uh, but also on top of that, they don't need to bring 16 cores, 32 threads quite yet, I believe. I think if AMD were to go with a 12 core, 24 threaded CPU, that would really add value to the market. Especially when we look at the Threadripper lineup series where their 12 cores aren't exactly selling too well, especially when you look at them compared to the 16 cores, both on the 1000 series and 2000 series Threadripper chips. But also looking at the entry level Ryzen 3000 series low level chips, they are looking like they will be six cores so AMD does look like they want to phase out four cores altogether, but this would still lead to the fact that AMD may be using a six core die as opposed to a four core in the previous generations of Ryzen. So when we look at what the leaks are saying and then we compare that to, I guess, maybe just thinking about it logically, if AMD were to go with a 16 core part in 2019, I think it would be too much too soon uh, to the point where they'd kind of alienate even further 2020 releases because they have uh, hinted that after 2020, it is going to get difficult for them. And also when I was at events previously, I kind of got the hint that it would be a 12 core 24 thread 
as opposed to a 16 core and a 32 threaded chip on the mainstream. Not to mention uh, what are they exactly gonna do uh, with the memory controller as well, that remains to be seen because what we saw with the Threadripper WX chips is that they were being a little bit starved in terms of bandwidth. But regardless of the leaks and what they contain, I will leave some links in the description below where you can go watch Adored TV's video or you can go check out the Reddit leak itself uh, where they're sort of pretty strong on suggesting that there will be a 16 core 32 threaded part. I'm sort of leaning more conservative in that I think AMD won't push that hard in 2019 when they don't have a reason to because when we look at even Intel, they're rumored to have a 10 core part coming out and they're going to use 14 nanometer. And if it's any suggestion from the 9900K, this chip is already running at the max capacity for the ring bus. I mean, they've got eight cores, 16 threads at five gigahertz, and that thing is seriously having a tough time handling the heat, not to mention the issues surrounding that. So going with 10 cores with Intel is kind of like up in the air on what they're gonna do about that. Anyway, all CPU things aside, AMD have a very healthy future coming out of 2018 and also going into 2019 with that seven nanometer design. They're definitely gonna hit some home runs. I can't wait to test these CPUs out and who knows exactly when they're gonna be released into the wild, but apparently we're gonna get more news at CES. So I'm really looking forward to giving you guys that. But also they've got the Navi GPUs, which are going on seven nanometer as well. And this is a great time for AMD, not just in the CPU lineup, but also the GPU lineup, because we've seen with Nvidia, they've actually stagnated when it comes to their RTX series. And uh, yes, they offered these features that I feel in my opinion were kind of useless for the market at the moment where they just tank performance so much. But also when we look at the efficiency of the RTX architecture itself with traditional DX11 titles and pretty much any title out there, it's uh, burning up more power and you are getting more FPS. But really when it comes down to it, the 10 series is really holding its value compared to the 20 series cards. So AMD in 2019 definitely have a chance to come back and hit home runs in the GPU lineup just as much as they are hitting home runs currently in the CPU division. Anyway, with the Ryzen 3000 series, I'm banking more on the fact that we will have a 12 core 24 threaded uh, flagship part, as well as uh, they probably will phase out those four cores. I think the market is ready for six cores. It will segment them in a new field. They will be ahead of Intel, especially in multi-threaded applications and the single threaded performance, if they can get those single core boosts up to five gigahertz, Intel is effectively going to be left in the dust. And of course, they've still got a dominating hand in the server market, but values value. And when that value starts to creep into the server industry, I uh, really see a good future ahead for AMD, especially with their current design with the Ryzen chips. Anyway guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the competition between Intel and AMD, especially for the new parts. I don't think the Xeons in the used field are going anywhere. If anything, if these chips are as good as they say they're gonna be, which is possible, then Xeons are only gonna get cheaper too. So everyone's pretty much gonna win thanks to AMD and their Ryzen design. And I love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. So make sure you do drop a comment. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.